Welcome to lesson 11 of the Premiere tutorial series. So today we're going to look at the title option uh, inside of Premiere Pro and what we can do with it. So I'm going to save this as lesson 11 right now. So let's go to lesson 11 just like this and press save. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my project window, go to new item and go to title. And then what I do usually like to do is I like to name my title into something meaningful like my first title and uh, then a mini version of Photoshop actually appears just like this. So then now uh, these, uh, these are some of the options here uh, and in the title I can uh, make almost a basic version of the graphics that I want to use in my video. So I can just use my type tool, I can drag in a text box and type it in or I can simply click on the text box and then click it like this. And then over here, I can click on this and I got my presets, a bunch of presets right here at the bottom. So I can just select the presets and you can see that the designs are applied onto the, um, onto the text just like this. And then I can just change it just like this as well. So now here is the vertical type tool and what it does is, is it allows me to type uh, vertically instead of horizontally. Uh, this one here is the area type tool. So let me just delete these out for a while. So unlike Photoshop, I cannot actually see the layers right here, but, but it gives me a basic control. So this one is an area type tool. So I have to click and drag and I have to click on drag here as well for the vertical type tool. And there you go. This is how the type tool actually works out over here. And so for something interesting, there's a path type tool. So it let, lets me allow, it allows me to draw a path just like this. And what it allows me to do is it types, um, lets me type on curves just like this. Curves sentences on, on the go. So this actually follows the path of the curve I type. And this is the horizontal and this is the vertical one. So this is the path tool just like this and it allows me to type in like this. So it lets me create interesting designs quite quickly as you can see over there. So there are some pen tools. So if you want to create a shape, basic shape, then there's a pen tool over here. So you can drag and drop and create any shape you want. You even have the delete anchor point tool if you want to delete the anchor points just like this, or you can add in the anchor point just like this as well in order to create more depth onto the existing design. And that's convert anchor point tool. And there you go, I can convert it like this. So this is quite similar to Photoshop. And if you see my Photoshop lesson, then I've explained this, that here and there as well. And I will be doing a lesson on pen tool soon as well. So then there's the rectangular tool. I can simply drag on the rectangular. And as you can see that the same effect that I chose for text is being used here. So I can go and click and choose the text just like that. And you can see that the effect is being ap applied onto the rectangle. And there you go, there's another rectangle right here. There's another shape. So there are all of the shapes that are available over here. And so the, this also gives me an alignment feature uh, inside of uh, Premiere Pro. So what I can do is I can delete all of these. I can type in the text just like this. I can al align it in the center just like this. And I also have distribution files. So if, um, if I have only one of them, then it's not distributed. So if I were to copy and paste it just like this, there you go. And there you go, just like this. Uh, paste it just like this and then I can align it to the left at the top so let's say I have these I can select all of these just like this I can align it to the top I can align it to the center so if I were to uh, choose this I can align it to the center I can align it to the center like this I can align it to the right I can align it to the bottom so this lets me create a very good alignment so I can also distribute this so this is the distribution portion for lying in it properly. So let's say, for example, there's no equal space over here. And if I were to align it in the center, let's say, for example, I align it in the center and I can, I can distribute it just like this from the bottom or the, from the top. So these are something that you should uh, try around with. And this really helps it uh, keep a consistency in the design that you're making. So over here, uh, what else do I have is I have my design properties. So if I were to 
type in anything for examples for example style so let's create our own style and whatever the style over here can be generated out of the uh, uh, title properties right here at the end so the opacity is actually a uh, same as here uh, this is the position I, uh, I can drag it out of the position I can increase the width and height I can change the rotation I can change the font family so if I want this font family then I can easily choose it uh, just like that I can choose the family that I want and then I can change the font style to bold italic or uh, italic uh, or whatever I want I can increase the font size over here I can uh, increase or decrease the aspect I can uh, increase the leading over here uh, the leading is not working okay kerning I can increase the kerning the tracking uh, the baseline shift uh, the slant I can even change the slant over here I can do the, use the small caps because I typed it in all cap it's not showing right here let me just say style uh, and I'm gonna say small caps so I got this so small is converted into caps small cap size I can decrease the small cap size to create my own style just like this I can underline it I can distort it so there are a lot of options uh, as you can see over here so I can create uh, almost now many styles easily done without even using the Photoshop I can even add in the gradient I can add in radial gradient linear gradient or bevel and so forth so I can increase and decrease the highlight color uh, I can change the balances like this I can increase the size uh, I can change the light angle if I want to uh, I can increase the scene the texture I can add in inner strokes or I can delete the inner strokes just like this uh, because the preset already has inner strokes there's outer strokes and you can see that there are a lot of styles so you can even add in shadows right now I cannot see the shadows but if I were to drag in a shape just like this uh, keep a white shape and I'm gonna send this to back what I can do is I cannot see the effect right now so what I can do is I can simply right click on this uh, arrange and send to back there you go so uh, you can see that there's a bit of shadow right here so we'll go over here at the bottom so shadow all right where you go where is it where is it yeah all right so that's the size of the shadow and then uh, the distance of the shadow I can increase the distance as well I can change the background style uh, just like this and so forth so this is how you actually uh, create your own uh, your titles and once you close it you do not need to actually save it you just drag your title onto the top layer and it actually appears there and the video actually appears at the bottom since i actually use the shape over there i need to remove it so if i were to see this let me just remove uh, this portion right here this box right here close it out and then there you go there's the style that has to be done all right then so now this is not only why the title is used I can even create a small um, title animation uh, or the credit score from the title itself so I can go to title press OK and then uh, I can actually go over here uh, onto my new title the roll crawl option right here at the top create uh, created and this is on my still setting right now so if I were to go on to roll and press OK so what I can actually do is you can also change the pre-roll and post-roll you can try this out or you can start off screen and end off screen so I can also do that so that's usually what I want and press OK so uh, once once I do that you can see that there's a bar on the right side over here and I can drag along the bars just like this and then I can type in uh, this is a uh, sentence all right uh, copy this out and then paste this out just like this uh, copy this out paste this out all right so I can type in as much as I want and you can see that there's the bar just like this so let me just close that out and then drag the title on to the right side just like this and you can see that the there's a um, a title sequences like that I can even drag this out and the animation uh, quite becomes slow just like this and I want this to re if I want this to reverse simply I can go to speed duration and uh, that doesn't work. okay so now what I have what I have is a regular uh, cross uh, still and crow 
So what I can also do is I can make it crawl. So I'm going to delete this out. So I'm going to type my text. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the crawl right or left option, whatever you want. So I'm going to say crawl, crawl, right. And press OK. And I'm going to type this is a sentence. All right. This is credit. Copy, paste. All right. So close this down. And what I have now is a scrolling text, which is what I see in news. Uh, uh, sets. So this is how you can actually um, uh, create a, some uh, a credit score or crawling text in Premiere Pro without having to do much work. And hope you guys learned something as always. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe.